What's up everybody, Brody here from Soya Quilting. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make this easy, disappearing nine patch quilt. But before we get started, I want to tell you about our Saturday night fabric de-stash. Every Saturday night, on Facebook Live and YouTube Live, we have a Saturday night de-stash. It starts at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we sell lots of top quality quilting fabrics for really great prices. Please make sure you join in. Now, let's jump into our project. So as you can see right here, I have three different prints of fabric, and this is all that I'm gonna use in the entire project. These are cut four inches wide by width of fabric. And I'm gonna start out by taking these in this order and sewing them together um, with a quarter inch seam. Okay, so really easy. Got the first strip sewn here, or first strip set sewn. And open this up. I'm gonna add on this third piece of fabric. Really, that's essentially what you're gonna do for this entire quilt. We have one more little variation from here, and then you just do cutting and sewing. So, got my other piece here. Set it down on top, and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam again. Okay, so I have this strip set sewn, just like this. What I'm gonna do is iron it out, and then I'm going to cut four inch strips off of this set. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Before I cut the four inch strips out of these, what I'm gonna do is sew two more pieces of fabric together, which is gonna give us our center lines inside of our block. So I'm gonna do it out of these two fabrics here, and I'm also gonna do it out of my white fabric and my red fabric that I've already done. So give me one second, I'm gonna sew those again. So I've just finished my strip set here, and I have obviously the white fabric and the blue fabric. I'm gonna do the same thing again with my white piece and then the red piece that I had um, for my other block. So one, I'm gonna iron this and then go ahead and do that. Now I'm ready to cut my four inch strips. So what I'm gonna do is just lay down my ruler. I've already trimmed up the edge here. I'm gonna lay down the ruler and just cut little four inch sections from this. So I'll set it down. One, I'm gonna do this with the rest of my block here. Or excuse me, the rest of my row here. All right, so at this point, you should have three different strips. You should have one with red on top or whatever color you're using, red on top, white, and blue. And then you should have your two center strips, which will have white on top and bottom, and then I have one that has blue and one that has red. I'm gonna show you exactly how these come together now. So what you want to do is you want to lay down, I'm gonna move these strips out of the side, off to the side here. You're going to take two of your strips that are the same and lay them down on your cutting mat. You're gonna turn one around like this, okay? We want this to be able to have a diagonal effect with these red squares. So I'm gonna grab one of my strips that has red in the center and set it down just like this. So this is what the basis of the block looks like. It's gonna have this kind of tic-tac-toe look um, with the red squares in the center. I'm also gonna do that with some blue squares to where it will be blue just like this across. And that's what's gonna give us the kind of the two-tone that these quilts have. So I'm gonna take this block right here. I'm gonna to sew together these three rows and then we'll go from there. All right, so I got my first one done here. Try to open it up here. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm gonna get my second piece, lay it down and make sure that we've got this diagonal look with the red squares across it. So, I'm gonna put these right sides together, do the same thing.
All right, so our first block is finished. What I'm going to do now is iron this open and then show you how to cut these to make it start disappearing. Now that I've ironed my block and it's all ready here, this is what you're going to do. You're going to lay it down on your mat and you need to cut this in quarters. Okay, so you need to cut it right down the middle and then turn it the other direction and right down the middle. So I'm going to lay this down. This block is 11 inches square. So I'm going to lay down my ruler here and cut this directly in half. All right, now that I've cut this directly in half, what I'm going to do is I need to cut it in half the other direction, so going like this. So you can do this individually or together, either one. I'm just gonna do it uh, individually just to make sure that I don't mess something up here. Cut this in half, just like that. And then one more time, like this. Just like that. Now, you should have four pieces. Make sure our top view can see this. You should have four pieces that look just like this. Okay, so now that you have everything cut into quarters, what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to come over here to your block and you're going to take, so obviously if these were all put together like this, this is our diagonal piece here, that you had the three colors that were the same. You're going to take your same colored fabrics and you're going to rotate them to the center. So just like this. So by doing this, this will give you the disappearing look that you're looking for in the nine patch. So when your, finished block, when your block is finished, the block is gonna look like this. So I'm gonna take these, sew them right sides together, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my first one sewn together. I'm gonna open it up. Now again, you wanna make sure that you're not uh, sewing these the wrong direction, because if you do, all of a sudden you'll get to the end, there's a lot of squares and it's not gonna look like the disappearing effect you're looking for. So, right sides together again, and I'm gonna sew the two halves together. Okay, so I have my second half. Now I'm gonna set these down, put them right sides together, and sew a quarter inch seam, and I'm gonna iron the whole thing out. All right, so I just finished my block here, and this is what your block should look like when it's finished. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put together one of our blue blocks, iron both these out, and I'll show you how to put those together. So I have my two different colored blocks here, and what I'm going to do is put these right sides together and sew them together. One thing that's really important, as you can see here from our top screen, you have to make sure that your lines are going the same direction. If not, you're not gonna get the same disappearing look that we have behind me. So I'm making sure these are going the same direction, I'm putting them right sides together, and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch seam. Once I finish this, I'll hold it up so you can show it, and then I'll continue and make the rest of the quilt and hold it up so you can see it. You're just gonna put it together in rows, and then put your rows together like any other quilt. So I just finished sewing my two blocks together. I'm gonna to sew two more just like this on the end here, and I'm gonna start sewing my rows together, and I'll be right back. So I've just finished sewing my last few rows, and the quilt turned out awesome. I'm gonna take this across the building to our in-house long armor to have it finished. As always, if you've liked this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. We're gonna put instructions on how to make this quilt in the description below. Everybody stay safe out there. My name's Brody, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you next week at Soya Quilting.